Salesforce Admin Winner 23 Dumps 41. What should an administrator use as an identifier when importing and updating records from a separate financial system? A record ID B auto number field C rich text field D external ID Answer D external ID 42. An administrator at CloudKicks has a flow in production that is supposed to create new records. However, no new records are being created. What could the issue be? A. The flow trigger is missing. B. The flow is read only. C. The flow is inactive. D. The flow URL is deactivated. Answer C. The flow is inactive. 43. CloudKicks, CK is partnering with a used shoe store and second-hand bicycle emporium. CK has an automated business process it wants to run once a week to count the number of open cases related to an account. How should the administrator recommend automating this business process? A. Set up a scheduled process in Process Builder. B. Create a workflow rule with an outbound message. C. Configure a scheduled flow in Flow Builder. D. Use a process to update the account when it is edited. Answer C. Configure a scheduled flow in Flow Builder. 44. Sales reps at Northern Trail Outfitters have asked for a way to change the probability field value of their opportunities. What should an administrator suggest to meet this request? A. Define a new stage picklist value. B. Configure forecasting support. C. Create a custom field on opportunity. D. Make the field editable on page layouts. Answer D. Make the field editable on page layouts. 45. Northern Trail Outfitters has a custom quick action on account that creates a new case. How should an administrator make the quick action available on the Salesforce mobile app? A. Include the action in the Salesforce mobile navigation menu. B. Create a custom Lightning app with the action. C. Add the Salesforce mobile and Lightning experience action to the page layout. D. Modify compact case page layout to include the action. Answer C. Add the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action to the page layout. For more information visit this site www.salesforcestart.com.